Warnings from Congress and consumer groups. The agency that's supposed to protect your food supply may soon clear the way for meat and milk from cloned animals to make it to your table, some say without testing it enough. The concern is that the FDA might rush approval and not do the studies that Congress is asking them to do. A Senate source tells CNN the Food and Drug Administration is just days away from declaring meat and milk from cloned animals safe. The FDA wouldn't comment on that on or off camera with us, but did say it is finalizing its own risk assessment. More than a year ago, a draft of that assessment concluded those products are safe. What are the health risks? We don't actually know, but we know the studies that the FDA uh, has relied on so far can't tell you that. I suspect that it'll probably taste quite similar, but that doesn't mean that there are no changes in the milk and that there are no changes in the meat that we need to be worried about. In a December 2006 press release, the FDA says their assessment that those meat and dairy products would be safe was peer-reviewed by a group of independent scientific experts. There's only three peer-reviewed studies. Uh, the so-called peer review that the FDA did of its own risk assessment, uh, two of the three people own patents uh, on different parts of cloning process. No comment from the FDA to that, but a representative for cloning companies says the FDA's done years of very credible testing. As for the nutrition of food from cloned animals? It gives producers more control over the type of animals that are bred, so that theoretically some producers could have a better tasting, a better quality steak with less fat. So in that sense, it could be more helpful. But consumer groups have another big complaint, that the FDA won't require labeling of meat and milk from clones, so we'll never know if what we're buying is from those animals or not. The FDA wouldn't respond to that, but the spokesman for the cloning industry says, because cloned animal products will be so similar to those from naturally bred animals, we won't need labels. Brian Todd, CNN, Washington.